Hi, today we're going to see how to create a cutout letter effect. So first, let's create a new image by going to File, New, press OK. And now zoom out by pressing the minus key on your keyboard, like this. Now let's take our gradient tool here. Now let's change our gradient to foreground to background, RGB, linear, the shape, so, and our background and foreground colors are black and white. Now I have this trace line, like this, using the gradient tool. Now let's move this point to adjust our gradient, like this. Press OK. Now take take your text tool. Now the font name is Georgia Bolt. Now left click and then press D. Get a D letter and then left click again and swear on the Canva and then press G to create another layer. This will create two separate layers. One for the D letter and one for, for the G letter, sorry. So now we're going to reduce the size to 500. I'm sorry, maybe uh, 700. This, and then this one, click on it, and then select it, and then 700, like this. Okay, so let's take our move tool and move the D layer and then the G layer like this. Now let's take our alignment tool, drag over both layers like this, it will select them both. Now let's align them on the vertical axis using this one. As you can see, they are aligned vertically here. Now let's take our move tool and move the G layer, press control while moving it like this and then let's go back to our D layer and move it while pressing control on your keyboard like this now it's good so right click on your D layer and then go to alpha to selection to make it will make the selection of our letter D and now we're going to grow our selection by going to select, grow, to make our cutout text from the G. We are going to grow it by, let's say 70 pixels, and then press OK. Let's add 10 pixels, and going back to select, then grow. OK, and then press Enter, like this. Okay. So let's go back to our G layer, and then press delete like this it will delete this selection from the G layer as you can see and now let's go back to select none to deselect our selection as you can see here it is so now let's take our move tool and move the D letter a little bit like this let's move it press always press control while moving it to move it Line to be in the same line. So now we're going to change the color of the upper part of the G layer. So we're going to right click on our G layer, alpha to selection. Now we're going to take our free select tool and remove from this selection the part that we don't want to color. So we're going on the tools option to click on the, th the third one. The third choice, subtract from the current selection. So let's draw a selection over what we don't want to change color to. It will deselect it like this. Press OK. As you can see, there's only this one selected. So we're going to our foreground select tool, click on it, and then change the color. Well, we're going to take this blue. The HTML notation of this blue is 4E709A, press OK, and then just drag it over like this. Okay, and then let's deselect by going to select none. 
now as you can see here it is so now if you want to create a new layer for just for the d and g to be able to move them or scale them together so let's hide our background layer let's go to our g layer right click and then new from visible to create a new layer from the from what's visible on the canva as you can see here so let's take the move tool you can move them both like this let's change let's name it d g simple okay so here it is now layer to image size or to make it image size here since we have moved it so now we're going we're going to scale it down we're going to add a reflection and the shadow to it so press ctrl and shift while scaling it down to scale it proportionally like this now press ok here it is now let's align it by selecting this layer like this the horizontal and vertical axis now it's aligned okay so what we're going to do we're going to duplicate our layer by going to this icon create a duplicate of the layer and then we're going to take our flip tool and flip it vertically as you can see from tool options here like this now it's flipped let's change the name of it to reflection change the name of the layer to reflection now let's take our move tool and move it down while pressing ctrl to be always on the same line like this okay there it is now let's create a layer mask by, by right clicking on the reflection layer and add a layer mask like this let's add a white full opacity mask press ok in a layer mask the black represent the transparency and the white to represent the the opacity sorry so we're going to change our foreground to black and our background to white take the gradient tool we're going to to make to trace a gradient on our layer mask as you can see to make a fading effect our letter as if it is reflection like this so press ok and now if you like the result go right click on your layer and then apply layer mask so here and now let's go back to our d and g layer not the reflection this one as you can see and let's add the drop shadow to it by going to filters light and shadow drop shadow here it's okay now press ok here it is as you can see so now let's right click and then layer to image size and then on the reflection tool layer right click and then layer to image size here it is if you want like before to be able to move both layers same time hide the background layer this one and then right click and then new from visible hide both reflection and dg layers and here it is and now you can move both layers not both layers but i mean the reflection and the letters at the same time so Control z to undo you have done so i think that's all thank you for watching and uh, till next time